I just want to print my story or a page for my story, that's pretty easy to do directly from the file itself. I don't need to export it as a JPEG. I could just work directly from the system or from this file. And I just need to go to File and Print. And you also have Print Settings. You can make a lot of adjustments in the quality and what kind of color, or you can change it to black and white and so on. Um, I'm not going to print because I actually don't have a printer, but I can uh, show you some other option that you can also do. If you go to Print, usually if you have any kind of PDF reading software, there's a way to add it to your printer list. Uh, you may have to go into control, control Panel and add a printer or add a device, but there is a way to do it. And I have already done that with mine, and it may automatically install that way, but you can name as your printer, though, your PDF software, and this will allow you to print, well, not print, but export a file as a PDF and create a PDF that way. It's a pretty efficient way to do it, and I'm going to select all pages and show you how it works. So you can adjust the properties. I'm going to leave it just how it is and hope it comes out okay. It, you may need to tweak this to get it to, you know, generate exactly how you want it to look, but I'm going to assume right now that it works okay and just uh, print it, quote unquote, print. And this is the exact process you would use if you were printing to a actual physical printer. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. I'll just save it with my other course materials and I'll call it my uh, PDF story. I don't know why it went black. And it has created the story and I'll uh, change it to fit page. And I can tell, let's see. I don't think it's it printed exactly how it, I would want it. it, like cut off part of the blue I can see because these dimensions and you know an eight by eight and a half by ten that's the dimension for a paper, whatever the standard paper size is, it are, they don't quite match up so it, it made modifications and if I wanted to um, get this to actually print correctly I could either change my file size beforehand or I could change how it's uh, how it's exporting and printing because this is not quite what I would want, and I would probably tweak this quite a bit to get it. But I wanted to show you how you can do this and create a PDF very, very quickly. And it's been saved in my course materials. Where is it? It is right here, PDF story. And it's not that big. It's 2.8 megabytes, so that's a pretty good size. When we did our CVZ file in the new folder, that came to 6.8 megabytes. So it, you're going to get different results in different page sizes, and it really depends on how you tweak it and adjust the quality, and that's going to affect the size. But sometimes you want PDF. That's sometimes, like if you're working for a magazine or a, something, they may ask you to submit as a PDF file format. So it just depends on who you're working with and how you're publishing.